So the last time I tried to start my tractor, it wouldn't start, and it was a um, it wasn't firing. So I think the points are dirty. I've had to clean them a couple times, and uh, I've been thinking about putting a uh, electronic ignition kit on it, and so I ordered one. Protronics. So let's get it installed. Cap off. Make sure the key's off. Get this out of the way. Cap looks pretty good. Need to uh, just put it up out of the way. Rotor button off. Let's cover. Off. There we go. So let me. We're gonna have to take that screw off. Take that screw out and. Take the condenser out, and we're going to have to take this uh, whole piece out here because the wires for the uh, electronic ignition will come out right here. And I'll have to undo this wire. So let me go ahead and get all that stuff out and get the distributor gutted. Alright, it's coming along. Still got to uh, get the points and stuff out, but I got this out. This bolt will come out once I get the points out. Um, I was just going to make a note, this used to be a, uh, this tractor is old enough that it was originally a mag magneto, and the magneto was bad, and I had a distributor, so I converted it over to distributor, and now it's getting converted, o converted over to um, electronic ignition, so it's had quite an upgrade. Alright, distributor is gutted, so then this plate goes in. And it screws in where the points and the condenser screwed in. Just like that. And then the little igniter goes in and goes on those little studs there. And the wires route through the hole where the uh, wire coming from the points went. So, let me... Um, get this plate mounted in here, get the igniter on, and I'll get the grommet. I'm probably going to have to slip this grommet up some because we don't need this much wire. Then I'll have to trim these leads because they're really long. The red will go to the positive side of the coil, and the black will go to the black side, the negative side of the coil. Let me get this out of the way. And we'll get that done. So the igniter is mounted, and I've got the wires run through the grommet. And we just need to put the let's see, put this on. And note this. I don't think this can go back on there. I think that's supposed to go on in the room. I'm going to have to leave this off. Huh? It won't go on here. Have you already got your rubber on? No. Yeah, so I guess you gotta leave this part off now. I think it was just to keep the points from getting dirty. But it won't go all the way down in there now. Yeah. 
because the rotor goes all the way up against this thing. So let me go ahead and wire it up. Let's cut these wires shorter. So the red here, red to positive side, black to negative side. All right, it's all hooked up. I think I'm gonna put a little, uh, I'll put the little silicone right there. Just make sure no water gets in. But it's all hooked up. Just need to put the cap back on, but the wires are hooked up to the coil, negative and positive. We just need to put the distributor cap back on and the uh, coil wire. All right, the battery's a little low. Let's see if it'll start. Yeah, I don't think it needs to be choked. Huh. Don't choke it more. Let me go get the battery. It's already flooded. Hmm? I'll, sit, I'll go get the battery charged. Okay. Yeah, the battery's dead. But it's trying to start now. Oh, we'll go Floats. <laughs> dump the bowl out and uh, put some fresh gas in it.
I've got a new, uh, this is aluminum bowl filter cap. I've got a new one. This one, you can see where it's pulled in in the middle. I've got a new one. It's got a new, uh, got a new one that's metal. They went from the newer model that had a metal, or uh, uh, iron, cast iron top instead of cast aluminum. And so I've got a cast iron top I need to put on it. I just need to uh, put it on it. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. Okay. I had to just add one more thing to this. I know I keep saying thanks for watching. But um, I realized when I was showing you all the oil filter housing that, and you can see where it's leaking a little bit. It's got a couple of gaskets on it because that thing is domed in. But anyway, um, I need to get a new oil filter. See that yellow? Underneath the red is yellow paint, which uh, the newer cubs were yellow. But this is a 1948. Look at the serial number, 1948. Got me thinking, maybe they've swapped the block out. You know, the block, the engine block is from here to here. And the rest of the tractor is 1948. So I looked at the casting number on the block. That's an R. And that makes this motor... A 1970 so the tractor is a 1948 and the motor the engine is a 1970 so this thing's been pieced together but uh, runs good it's just surprising I didn't never thought to look at the engine casting number so just something something interesting to add Anyway, this is it. End of video. No more. Thanks for watching.